This activity allows you to explain how we know black holes are there, how scientists are finding them. We're using magnetism as a model for gravity. To prepare, insert one of the small magnets into one of the holes. You may want to place a strip of tape over the bottom side and make sure the to make sure the magnet doesn't slip out. Lay the other sheet on top and place it on a level surface. It's helpful to have a smooth blanket or towel underneath to prevent marbles rolling off the table. Where are the black holes in our galaxy? How do scientists find them? This is space. We are surrounded by space, and this is just one very small section. These are magnetic marbles, and we're going to use them to explain the force of gravity. Magnetism is an invisible force, just like gravity, but they are different kinds of force. Gravity always attracts. Magnets sometimes attract and sometimes push each other apart. So we're just using magnets as a model for gravity. This is a star in space. What happens? to this star when another star goes nearby. Try it. Ooh. Ooh. Sometimes the star is deflected, and sometimes they go into orbit around each other. There's another smaller but more powerful magnet representing a black hole somewhere in this field. Can you see the black hole? No. No. Just like out in space, we can't see the black hole. How will we find it? How will we know it's there? Using the marbles? Some marbles will orbit and be captured, and some will roll by the black hole but be deflected. This is one way to find them, by seeing the effects on a star or stars in the vicinity of the black hole. Ah. <laughs> Oops. Aha! You noticed how some of the, the stars <laughs> whirled around the black hole. Gas whirling around a black hole heats up to very high temperatures and gives off X-ray radiation. As the material orbits closer and closer, it moves faster and faster, heating up to millions of degrees. Sometimes fast-moving jets of material are streaming off the black hole. Telescopes in space, like NASA's Chandra X-ray Telescope, can detect these high-temperature X-rays emanating from a small area of space. Future NASA missions are being developed to look for more black holes by the effect they have on space around them and to try to determine why these jets occur and what happens to that material that falls into a black hole. I'll move the black hole and let's try again. <laughs>